Because McMira is quite popular, as we've gathered, uh, Will Duty Free asked us to come up with a brand. And this is Will Duty Free, you can only buy it in Duty Free. So you're going to be very privileged tonight to try something Ooh. that not everybody gets to try unless they buy it. Unless they go through an airport. Correct. It's called Expedition and not every airport carries it. We're, we'll probably be have it in the UK um, second quarter of this year. Um, but what makes this really interesting is it's 50 CL, um, but it's finished in New American Oak, Swedish Oak and Cloudberry wine casks. Cloudberry, yes, Cloudberry wine is locally produced. Uh, Swedes love it. They have Cloudberry's jam, Cloudberry sweets, Cloudberry wine. I'm not sure if you're making that up because it sounds yeah. like the kind of thing that could be a joke. Yeah. No, deadly serious. It says so on the box. What is, what is a Cloudberry? Yeah, you can see the question. That's yeah. yeah. a fair question, yeah. So it's, if you look at a picture of it or if you look at it, it, it kind of looks like a raspberry, but it's more orange. Yeah. Um, and it's slightly more bulbous in its shape, but it's. Um, we don't have the whiskey with us, do we? We do. We do, yes. There is one, we do a Cloudberry wine, and you really smell it on that. It has a sour and a sweetness going on with it. I'm still not when 100% you smell, sure. When you try the whiskey <laughs> and when you smell it, you'll go, I know, I can imagine it. It's up there with lingonberries and raspberries, and it's a very Swedish ingredient. Yeah. So, um, I'm found pretty much anyway. And uh, they're in Scotland yeah. as well. Right. It's it's really well. We don't do anything. Cloudberries, because I feel like that's the best marketing term ever. Cloudberry. It's just like rainbow happiness. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they, they, they're about that big, and and yeah, you can eat them, and they make jam with them, as I said, and, and preserves, and and so and wine. I, I have lots of friends who are Scottish, right? Who insist that they. I feel sorry for you, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> won't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> but they uh, insist that they go haggis hunting yeah. and we'll go on and on about their <laughs> haggis hunting. I kind of think cloudberries are in that same category. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a very real thing, I promise. Um, and yeah, it gives a very different flavour. You'll, you'll pick it up on the nose. Mm -hmm. It's right at the back on this one. Yeah, right mm. at the back. Mm. It's such a... It's all... And it's so many it. different notes Berries. in there compared to anything else we've tried already. Correct. It's got a lot of body to it as well. Mm. Did, is this based on any of the other ones and then had a little bit of a tweak? Or is this a totally new flavor experience that was created specifically for? No. So Cloudberry wine, as I said to you, is quite a, it's quite a, a unique thing to sweet. Mm. And what they did was they just took the casks and they decided to try and put some whiskey and see what happens to it. And we, we went from having just this as a, as, a, as a brand to making a moment in it. Okay, so it's gone that way around. Yeah. Because it is very different. This is a little bit harsher, a little bit rush, uh, yeah. rougher because of the Swedish oak and American oak in it. Um, and it gives a very different taste. Yeah. Um, whereas your taste in the moment is a lot softer. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not as, I think as, I think I've used the phrase refined before. No. It's, mm. it, it is a lot more robust. Yeah. I could see this doing well in a in a duty free because you know a lot of time when you're there you're sampling you're trying lots of different things. Right. This would really stand out. Yeah, and is it, you, once you've had this, you know you've tasted it. You yeah, know. believe it's twenty five percent spicier than the other one, which would be good on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep tying back to this. <laughs> fact. So, so, you're going to have this fact that comes through every video, and no one's going to clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Why does he keep talking about it, please? <laughs> so, it's not everybody's taste, but there is a market for it, uh, clearly, hence duty free, and we do big volumes of it. And yeah. this is kind of where this comes into it, uh, which John's going to talk about now, but it's, it's the special stuff we do. Um, and we're going to move on to our second PT one now. Now, having talked about these, yes. and I, I can read the back of this, yeah. I, might, I, I didn't speak Swedish until drinking this whiskey, but I can now see that this says Swedish smoke and American oak. Spot on. Yes. I mean, that is, that is the power of this whiskey, is I now can read Swedish. Yeah. It, it's, it's astounding. That yeah. is, it really is. Yeah. I can probably read the rest of it. It's, it is. The flavor of the smoke. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Remarkable! <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> you have so a final that, sip of this one. I haven't so had it what we've learned today so far: kills cancer, mm -hmm. uh, just met, gets rid of all anti uh, all antibodies in your oh, sorry all, all mm -hmm. diet. That diet. diet 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 Cle cleans you out when you've got a cold or a flu, and teaches you Swedish yeah. and good on a plane. Um, oh, yeah. and good on a plane. My bad. Sorry. Yes. I can't do that. I can't do that. That. Yeah. That. Mm. It, I know I should. 
but you've been going through them all. Okay. So, of course. Yeah. I feel rude not to. It's <laughs> such, such nice stuff. It's, if you give me a bad one, I chuck it away. Yeah. How about that? Okay. That's, that's, that seems a fair compromise. Yeah. yeah. We also do one for an airline for, it's called SAS, uh, Swedish airline services called the Traveller, which is based on the Svens app which you had early on. Oh yeah. And it's in a blue bottle. Um, but I don't have that tonight, but it's um, also very interesting. Yeah, but I do, I, I like that. And I like that it is rougher than the, the traditional yeah. expression. And now we're going to rough as well. So we've kind of kept that with the specials that we do. I feel robust. Well, That's robust, robust yes. yes. This is- Buffer sounds a bit like, yeah, it's course difficult yeah, upbringing yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. Yeah. This is <laughs> it's more of a sturdy one. Mm. So, uh, so as you've rightly pointed out, uh, it is the Swedish smoke, American oak. Um, with this one, uh, it's the same. So we took the Svensk Rook, and it's virgin American oak barrels that go into this one. So it's matured for a bit longer. Half the people I give it to, um, having tried the Svensk Rook, go, "Oh, it's like ramped up another notch." The other half of them say, "Oh, you've taken down the peat a bit more and just mellowed it out a bit." So I find 50/50 mm -hmm. with this one. So I'm curious as. Okay. So, and is this still 46.1%? 46.1%, yeah. Um, and the reason we did this is people asked for a bigger peat here, bigger smoke here, um, which we've developed, hence this one. Still with juniper, so it's a second edition of the Rook, and all we did was add a new American oak. Um, but I find in this one, and you'll see now, the balance they've got it spot on. Mm. It's not an Artberg or a Lagavulin, it's on its way, mm. I think. I think. <laughs> but it's... Uh, it's getting nice. Yeah. And, and it has all the aspirations of being a big whiskey. I'm on the smoother side. The, the smell, mm. it, it doesn't hit hit you as hard before. It kind of, it starts mm. and it builds up and then it just lovely yeah. mellows off at the end is the way it smells to me. Yeah, so we, uh, uh, yeah, to compare it to a Lagavulin or an Ardbeg, I mean, you, you can't, Mm. Smell those. You can't just stick your no. schnoz in that no. and just and and still survive. Yeah. It, it's it's definitely not that kind of nose. It's it's you get a bit of smoke. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, it, you but, would never confuse. But it it's not me. your gentle. Oh, yeah. we've added a touch of peat. To no, this. it's it's not. It's a, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, which it's, it's quite rare. I find. Yeah, it's it's not a Highland Park where. No. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's some peat in it, and you can taste peat, but you don't get any on the yeah. on the nose. But you can um, get. You get a bit here. And you still get a bit of the diesel, a bit of the tar, but mm. it's not overpowering. Yeah. Like if anything, it's more like that kind of island smoke. Mm. Mm. That kind of leche, kind of peatiness. But yes. Ooh, but it's much peatier on the palate. Yeah. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I did warn you. So wow. it's on its way there. It's not there. So wow. the nose is deceiving. And then you get that. Bang, we're here. That mm. is... Incredible, isn't it? Mm. A completely unexpected. It's a, yeah. it's, it's one of those, you know, and, and the market did, wanted it, so we made it. And it's, um, if you like peaty and smoky, but not the artwork and the one, but on the way there, this is where you go. I don't even know how this is done. It's fabulous, it's isn't it? It's incredible. It almost like see. levels you into a, okay, we're done. Yeah. And then suddenly. <laughs> is this like all the other ones where we say, well, we think the flavour comes from A, but actually it's B that's brought in here. And is it the same thing that, no, it doesn't taste as B, but we've brought other flavours through behind I'm it. Not, it's just the, fi the final finish on the cask. Yeah. It's, so it's just the virgin American oak is the difference it's between well it. So it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't it, overdo it. It what, kind of what stops I, when it needs to. What I like about it is that so it has a lovely finish. It's definitely mouth coating. You still get that, yeah, the, the mouth feel after you've had a drink. But it does slowly disappear. Mm -hmm. it, whereas if you have something to go really extreme, like uh, a Laphroaig, you have Laphroaig and you taste it. Yes. Laphroaig can't be your first drink of the night. No. no. <laughs> it's but, always the evening. Yeah. It, be, but this is. It is more nuanced in some. It's in the way that it uses smoke. I w and I disagree. Laphroaig doesn't ruin the evening. <laughs> <laughs> But it is. No, that's a, just a challenge for when you go after. It's just a challenge. You start at eleven. Yeah. <laughs> that's the problem. But, but but this is this is really nice uh, and very unique and it's balanced. Yeah. And What's the kind of retail on this? Seventy-five. Mm. So now we've gone from sixty to seventy-five to so the next price category, but you can see why. Mm. Yeah. You know, you've oh, got yeah. a bigger bowl of whiskey here. It's something different. It's something unique. It's it's got all. This, 
all it needs to be. And the area we're putting in and the bits we're describing it next to, potentially a lot more expensive, but this has so much more to offer than some of yeah. them. Having said that, I know there's a lot that have a lot to offer as well. You can't ever say that, but yeah, there's. Hey, you fancy uh, getting involved in this one? This I'd one. love to. Yeah, I well, think it's a must. Yeah, you've got to. Um, yeah, it's genuinely unique. It's lovely. Mm. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's one of my favourites. Mm. Thank you very much indeed. I will always go back to the original. Which makes you sound like some vinyl connoisseur, like doesn't no, it? Yeah, like, so oh, I prefer this one. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's you can't good. enjoy it until you've experienced the original. <laughs> I, I get that. I like no. the taste of both, but this is my one. Yeah. Me, uh, I, it's. Do you know what? I might need to run. I, mean, I might need to run side by side. A lot yes, of people do. Think, no, I do think that could be arranged. Yeah, yeah. We can we can certainly do that. <laughs> but this, this is the only other peak. It's the only other. Did you while you were on the peak want to have a quick? Yeah. I mean, should I just go I, and grab my bottle? I'm kind of kind of interested. So uh, maybe even as you got the glass. Oh, oh, Ed is trained. Ed, you're you're good. Yes. You've done this before. The next thing we've got to do is get Ed on camera. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Drank enough to uh, see the submarine. Because <laughs> <laughs> immediately the colour is the thing which. Yeah. So at the festival, as we had them side by side. Yeah, so as, as, as you said, so the all natural colouring, non chill -filtered. filtered. Yeah, very, very different. And that's interesting that. So, is, so the only difference is the American oak. Yeah, just the cast. And, and is it is it virgin oak? Didn't you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how can yeah. virgin oak give it such a different colour? Thirty litre vats. So oh, the time on the wood is, is intense, yeah. And it That's so interesting. Um, I mean, I would never expect that virgin oak could give that kind of colouring. Yeah. That's it's incredible. Who else it's amazing, does? Who it? else does vats of that size? There's, there's quite a lot. It's become quite a trendy at the moment because people have caught on to the fact that it matures quicker, mm. that it's cheaper to do. It's cheaper. Uh, yeah. Well, I think. I suppose it goes quicker. Or less. And, and cookering is a lot quicker, mm. um, and they're a lot more already available in the wine industry. Ah, Small yeast yeah. so, so you can buy them up now. We cooper in our own at the moment. I think um, Dan wants oh, to. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, I didn't see the. Uh, John, John has a habit of not sharing. He's uh, uh, particularly on Mac Mary. Especially yeah, on Mac yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm very possessive of it. Yeah. <laughs> Should I taste uh, this and get a, a comparison? Uh, um, and people do exactly what you're doing now. They go, oh, I'm not sure which one it is. All right, here we go. Some people, still got, yeah. you can you can definitely tell from the yeah yeah it's still the colours. Hmm. So I think on the nose, this one has a stronger nose to Correct. it. The mm -hmm. oh, that's the original. The original. Yeah. 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 So I mean, so if I if you gave me this, I'd assume yeah, Isla whiskey. Yeah, peated Isla straight whiskey. off the bat. Yeah. Whereas this is a bit more difficult. But so once you taste it, once you taste it. Totally different. On the nose, this is to me generic Isla whiskey. I get the peat. This is more like um, Connemara, where it's an Irish whiskey, correct? Mm. Softer but peated, very, very well. Is, and the colour's right for Connemara. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, that's that's what it, on the nose I get. Totally different story on the palate. Correct. Yeah. See, it's when you go back, it's just... <laughs> yeah, sorry, I might have I might have prejudged earlier when I said my favourite. I can't compare um, them, they're do, two different whiskies. They're, they're, it is two, it, it does taste very, they're very different. They're two different brands um, almost. Yeah. Despite the fact being the same product, the same base. Do you think they're different events or different evenings or different time zones for these? So, you know, is that an everyday one versus a special occasion or is it vice versa? I don't know because they still they still have that peat. Yeah. So I would drink them when I want a PD whiskey. Right. They're just different shades of peat. And yeah, you know, so I, yeah, I, I don't know if I would necessarily say oh, I'd have this yeah. here and have this here instead. Because if I'm in the mood for PD whiskey, I could easily reach for either of these. Good to hear. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's you start on one and that's your night. Yeah. Mm. You don't go between no, the no. two. But it's just whichever one you were lucky enough to start off with. But you think about it. <laughs> if you're paid, if very you're, undecided with this. I, well, because, because, no, I'll, yeah, I'll say that to you, and, and I'll make that decision easy for you. Forty-eight pounds, seventy-five. But, hang on, have, but no, yes, can I, can I pretend it. 
That's 50 cents later. That's 75. Oh, yes. yes. I, I, didn't, I wasn't going to mention it. I was to see if you yeah. <laughs> But that's, that's what it is. I, I think it is a personal preference. Um, John prefers this. I prefer that. That's strange. But it's... I can't, I can't give you a preference. They're lovely. They, they, are, they are two very different whiskeys. Mm. Um, We've got first stage and second stage, yeah. and they're completely different. Um, but equally as nice. It, oh yeah, they're just different kinds of nice. Yeah. yeah. This, in the portfolio of all the things we sell, is our top seller. 